Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode on the Battlecraft SMP, the only SMP which is in its prime ape. Prime ape. In the last episode, I was checking out the new update, trying to catch some of the fossil Pokemon, and I ended up with this fellow here. Look at him, he's so cute. And today we're going to be doing a bit more exploring because there's so many more fossil Pokemons to catch. And I want to catch, well, maybe not all of them, but at least a few more. I'm also planning to work a bit more on my base. Oops, I don't have any armor on. Yes, I'm planning to work a bit more on my base. I want to expand this a bit more. Finally get this finished. So I've got a fair few buildings to go. Could work on these ones over here today, actually. Yeah, we could get these two done. But before we get started with all of that, there's something I want to do in the... Well, I was going to say shopping district, but the starting village. Wow, more buildings keep appearing here. Ali has been busy at work. What's this one? Dimshroot Industries. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, it's just farms. That is pretty good. I really love that. Uh, what is that? How do you even do that? That's amazing. Just quickly checking my berry shop, which has made zero sales the entire time it's been up. I've had a great idea for a competition. So I'm going to set up a little booth where people can come along and they can sign up for a bit of a, a championship. Now over here seems about right. I think this could be a good, a good place for it. I'm not entirely sure what I'm building, to be honest. Mm, I think you maybe some kind of trophy. I think I maybe need this to be an even number. What's that looking? Okay, that's not looking too bad. I have run out of gold though. So, who's got gold that I can uh, borrow from? I just happened to find a load of gold somewhere. That's that's really weird. Looking just slightly goofy. Uh, I think I need to get rid of that one. Yep, and then I think I just need to raise this one up by one. There like that. Yeah, that's a trophy. Yeah. Cool, so this is going to be the Wacky Team Championship. We're going to be battling Pokemon just as a normal championship. However, your team must have a theme. And that theme needs to be wacky and weird. We're going to have two prizes at the end. One for the team that wins the championship. And the other for the player who has chosen the wackiest theme. And just to give a few examples, your team could be all baby Pokemons. It could be all Pokemons whose names start with the letter Z. It could be all Pokemon which have more than two eyes. Who knows? Everyone could come up with their own idea. So what I need to do here is put a little bit of a sign up sheet area and a bit of a book explaining all of that, that I just told you. Here we go, Wacky Pokemon Championship, sign up by putting your name in the barrel. The championship is like a standard Pokemon Championship but with a twist. You are battling your fellow trainers to win a prize but your team must have a wacky theme. Lovely. And there we go, we're ready for the championship. Nicely done, I look forward to seeing what themes people come up with. I literally just walked into a lamppost there. Yep, I did do that. Right, it's time to now go and catch some new fossil Pokemons. Let's go and find some ruins. Okay, let's go in a different direction than we went last time. I'm still looking for ruins. That's the main thing we want. No, wait a second again. Not ruins. Uh, what are they called? Fossil, fossil spots. Foss, fossil areas. Something like that. Okay, I can't seem to find any just flying around. Wait a second, is that literally one? That's suspicious sand. Not sure what that is. Let's have a look. Maybe this is a natural one. Maybe it's like a... Oh god. Okay, okay. Yeah, this looks to me like a, you know, vanilla archaeological big site. Because the stuff we're getting out of it is definitely not Pokemon related. Yeah, you see we've got like a candle, an emerald, a sheaf pottery shed. I mean, this does look pretty cool. I like this. Doing the very archaeological thing of leaving the features in. Okay, that is cool, but it's not what we're looking for. What? What's this guy doing here? Why is that polar bear in the jungle? I don't understand. What I was going to say was that if we can't seem to find any on the ground, which is the case at the moment, there are actually some that spawn underground, and especially some that spawn in a lush biome. 
So I'm thinking we take out our trusty nature's compass and we look for some lush caves. Oh great, that's literally the direction I've come from. All right, let's go and find these lush caves, see if we can't find any sites in there. Cool, so underneath us, there should be a lush cave. I wonder also if different Pokemon spawn in lush caves. Okay, here we go. Right, I've hit the big cave, that's good. What we're looking for is anything out of place. Okay, I'm not sure about this, but this thing here looks like maybe like some hot springs kind of thing. I seem to remember from our showcase that one of the things in the Lush Cave was like this. Now I'm willing to take a gamble and have a bit of a dig around. See if we can't find anything underneath here. Okay, we're looking for suspicious gravel. Okay, it's not looking good. Yep, looks like that may have been a natural thing. I guess it could have been a modded thing, but just not the right mod. Okay, I don't think that was correct. Let's keep on looking. Okay, I've had a bit of a Google, and basically there's two structures we could find in here. One of them is like a pond, and the other one is like some kind of like old tree. So I'm going to have my eyes peeled for either of those structures. I mean, that's like a tree there. Oh, no, I think that's just uh, it's just one of the, the pillars for the mine above. Oh, okay, that's, that's Creeperville. Right, that area is in Lush Caves anymore, so we're going to double back. Yeah, we're kind of at the edge of the Lush Caves. That stuff there is in Lush Caves anymore. We're not going to go that way. I think the problem with down here is that we're too far down. If I'm not mistaken, stuff spawns between the level of 10 and minus 37. We're a bit low down there. Let's go a bit higher. Wait, is that a pond? Mm, don't think it looks like... Oh yeah, it is. Look. <gasps> there's, there's some mystery soil. You know what I mean? The, the soil... Okay, I'm going to first of all fill in these holes so that we don't have water going everywhere. Then we can start trying to excavate this site. Come on, wish me luck. Just want some kind of fossil, not bones. Got a fossil. Okay, we found a fossil. That is exciting. Let's see if we can't find any more. Oh, is that a fossil? That big root. That is a big root, of course. An Everstone. I don't know what that does, but that sounds good. Oh, a second claw fossil. Okay. That's good. That's very good. Yeah, that seems to be the extent of it. Hey, but that's two claw fossils. That is amazing. Now, before I go back home and see what Pokemon come out of my fossils, I'm going to explore around here a bit more. Because if we're here, we may as well try and find one of those big trees as well. I can't believe it. That is literally just two steps away from where I found the pool a second ago. But that looks like a tree to me. Or some kind of ancient tree at least. Let's see if we can find a fossil. We're going to dig around in the base, see if we can't find one here. Okay, it doesn't seem to be one in the base. Maybe up above in like the leaf area? Yes. Okay, this looks a lot like it. This looks like some uh, mysterious soil. I know it's not called Mysterious Soul, I just can't remember the name of it. Oh, and that is a fossilized fish. I think with these fossilized areas, there is like a fossil associated with each of them. But then there's a small chance of getting a different fossil as well. So we got a fossilized fish. Awesome. Oh, yes. Okay. We seem to have a helix fossil. That is incredible. I think that's an Omanyte, an Omastar which is a generation one Pokemon, which is what we're looking for. So that's fantastic. Right, I'm gonna keep exploring, see if I can't find any more fossils and then we'll go back home and crack these open. Okay, after quite a bit more exploration, I think I've found all of the fossil nodes that are in this area. And we've ended up with seven claw fossils, one helix fossil and one fossilized fish. So not too bad. I was hoping for another Helix so we can then have Omos Star, the evolution. Um, but well, one is good enough for now. So let's head home and start cracking. So that was a very successful expedition. I found myself quite a lot of fossils. I found seven claw fossils, a fossilized fish and a Helix fossil, which I've gone ahead and I've put into a lovely fossil machine. And you can see that I've already got someone waiting for me so if i right click here we now have an ammonite oh look at that another cutie for our collection oh there he is 
Hello Aronite, welcome to the world. We still have a fossilized fish and seven fossilized claws. We're not actually going to use up all the claws. I might see if I can sell them or something. But let's see what the fossilized claw is going to give me. So we filled up the machine with organic material and then we place this fossil in there. There we go. And it's starting to extract the DNA, create the new Pokemon. Yeah, you can kind of see it emerging there in the middle. Oh, there it is. Is it an Anorinth? Is that what it's called? There we go. Got, uh, yeah, Anorinth. I got it. Here he is. Hello. Oh, okay, I've just checked the, the Discord, and apparently with a fossilized fish, you actually need two fossilized fish in order to resurrect it. We've got to go and find another. I don't think I've got enough time this episode, so we may have to just keep it for now that's a shame i was hoping to see the turtle guy there's like a turtle pokemon i was hoping this was the right one not much i can do about that one i guess so i'm gonna chuck in the second claw pokemon in the meantime and i guess that while that is hatching we should start working a bit on the base as you can see this area is getting very nicely populated but i wanted to build this structure here at the back but let's do that in the form of a time lapse let's go And here is the new building in our town. Pretty straightforward, it's using all this nice acacia with a bit of a grey palette behind it as well. And that lovely warped stem, which I'm very fond of. And I think the warped works very well with the acacia. It's a nice combination of blocks. So yeah, it's looking good. The inside has got this lovely floor. It's not decorated as per usual, but we do have space for do, to do stuff if we did want to. So yeah, that's looking nice. And this part is now feeling a lot more like an actual completed village. We do still have some structures to make over here. But it's only like one, two, three, four. So should be able to do that pretty easily in the next few episodes. And talking about next episodes, unfortunately it is the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, please remember to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!